Okay, so we have this little scene here. Um, we have these these two blocks um, are operating on a uh, have a have a scale based component that I writ that I wrote. Um, this one specifies that it walks through the hue cycle as it scales up and down. So I move it down, and we can see that it's sort of scrolling back into, into that hue cycle. And if we make it really big, it does the same thing, and it just loops um, loops around that the, the one that one face. Uh, yep. And just to demonstrate the flexibility of the component, I'm able to specify one of these axes uh, to change. So this one, if we make it really large, uh, that makes the the lightness uh, lower, and if we make it really small, it makes the lightness brighter, effectively making it white when it's tiny. And then, so those are two color-based scale components, but then I started thinking about sound. So if we so if I make our way over here, um, we can see this button, and the button is continuously scaling, um, and it, I used Tone.js uh, to give it a sound. So when it's really tiny, it sounds pretty high pitched. But when it's really large, it's lower pitched. Um, yeah, and it's really cool that you can sort of, you can hear it hear the cascade uh, of the pitch. Um, yeah, so obviously you can so you can sort of hear the, the buffering issues um, or the, the interaction um, issues uh, causing this like that like weird stuttering. Um, so yeah, there are a few kinks to work out, but in general, I think uh, this like scale-based uh, interaction model uh, to change components is really interesting because it it it's not something that we're it's not a, it's not an interaction model that we have in the real world. We can't just randomly uh, you know you know we can't just randomly <laughs> resize objects. Um, so it's 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 surreal, but also really I think a really interesting um, and useful metaphor, uh, especially for things like sound. Um, yeah. That's it.